You need to know God is in you so that the world will know that God is with you. That's right. Before marriage. When you obey the voice of God by allowing God's spirit to modify your spirit, have mercy of God, and become one with God's spirit, yes. then you can maintain your integrity. You have all the help that you need yes. when God's spirit leads you in the path of righteousness. Yes. When God's spirit leads you in the way of love. Thank you, Lord. Examine yourself. See whether you be in the faith. Men, you have a great responsibility toward God. You are the beginning of the family. See, when God created man, he didn't create a man a man. He didn't create a man a boy. He created him a man. That's right. <laughs> and in his own image and likeness, created he man. for the woman because the man had a problem. And only a woman can solve the problem. Well, for that reason, a man then needs a woman. Not that he should. Sure 
and very sure that Christ is in you. Amen. 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 Christ in you will clean you up, as I said. And then God will place his spirit in you because you are clean. Yes. And your spirit then will become one spirit with God. That is what's required for the Holy Ghost to lead you in everything. Amen. How much long? So church, let's, 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 let's take the word seriously. seriously. Let's let the word manifest itself in our, we got to let it. Yes. And then let the Holy Ghost teach you. Amen. Then prove yourself. And in proving yourself, examine whether you be in the faith or not. Amen. This life we live is a life of faith. Oh, yes, it is. Amen. In the Word of God. And that Word has all that we need to live faithful before God. Amen. That's why we must be obedient to his word. So Paul then is saying to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 1 and 2 It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. Let every woman have her own husband. In other words, <coughs> get married. Get married. Paul says in to drop down to verse 7 of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, Paul said, For I would that all men were even as I myself. But every man have his proper gift of God. Mm -hmm. One after this man mm -hmm. and another after that. Don't copycat. I might look at this marriage and I might like the way this marriage is. <clears throat> Your marriage is unique. Mm -hmm. That's why Christ must be in you. Mm -hmm. We can look at one another, one another men, but every one of us is unique. Christ being in you, God is too rich in his goodness for us to be the same way. That's why I say examine yourself. Rather you be in the faith. How mercy Lord. I say therefore to the unmarried and widowed. It is good for them if they abide even as I. But if they cannot contain, let them marry. For it is better to marry than to burn. So men, 